So it's been a while since I've done a Donna, how was your day? So we're going to start with, I don't know if I did this yesterday or not. I think I did this in a roundabout way of telling you what I did yesterday. Uh, yesterday I drove Grandpa and I down to Effingham in the Equinox and he had a $25 gift card from the grand, great grandkids of his that he had not used at Menards, so we had to put that to use, and then we got to eat at the real Burger King, and I think I did this already, so I'm going to lightly skip over it. We're going to start today on what did I do on my day off today. I was adventurous, okay? Late last night, I decided to try this recipe out, and I'm, I'm learning, okay? And we have to learn by mistakes and go forward. Well, it said you put a layer of these mint Oreos, then you make instant vanilla pudding with green food coloring, so that's your next layer. Then you put another layer of mint Oreos, and then on top of that you put Cool Whip. Now here's the catch, okay, if you make this recipe. Um, you're supposed to not put the sprinkles on until the next day, and then put the sprinkles on. But I went ahead and put the sprinkles on last night to try and save time, and yeah, well, to me, I was not impressed with this recipe after I made it. I was very downhearted, and I was, like, letting myself have it. Because I made a cake for our neighbors, and I made a cake for us, which Grandpa tried it today, and he was like, I don't like this one. So he let me know real quickly it was not his favorite. I don't know if it was the mint flavor of the Oreos or because he thought it was too tough, but it was one of the two. Um, I didn't try it myself, but... I made sure that he had something to eat today, too. So while I fixed him something to eat, I visited with Hannah, our little next-door neighbor girl. She's adorable. And then uh, went outside and decided to get a lot done in a little bit of time. So I took up all the tomato bushes. I left some tomatoes in the chair, which if people want tomatoes before I throw them away Monday night, they're in that chair. It's in the yellow chair. You know where I live. So just come by and get some more tomatoes. They're green, of course. They're good when to sell tomatoes, but they're free of charge, and you can gladly take them. But the tomato bushes have bid us a fair fund well, and you know what? They have been great, two great bushes this year. I've got to give them props. They were still blooming when I took them up today, but it was time before it gets any, the weather turns colder, and I have too much going on the way it is, so it was just time to take them up now. I had bought a bolt of fabric at our local Goodwill store and went outside by my wishing well and thought, oh, you know what, I'm going to start wrapping these things up so I can put them in our little garbage container thing that we keep them in the shed and it'll be fine. Well, <laughs> while I start doing this, I get too adventurous, I guess, because I break two of them, my two favorites, a horse and a chipmunk. Uh, Y'all know how much I love horses, so it was like watching my heart break right in front of me. But they say everything happens for a reason, and that I believe. Now I'm going to get into that. So then I decide today, after I put that away and I started decorating, I found some of my Halloween decorations. This is the part that's exciting. And I started decorating with pumpkins all around. And, of course, I have this little witch that she goes, Witch and Famous. She doesn't say it, but it says it on the little thing that's stuck in the ground. And Fangs for the Memories with a bit Dracula. It's adorable. So I got those those uh, posted out front, and um, then I decided I was going to go ahead and, uh, well, I weeded a little bit of Grandma's, as I call it, flower bed still up here by the house, and it looks amazing, uh, even though we lost two of the plants. I know it's fall, it's going to happen, but I, I just love when the flowers are out. It just makes it so beautiful and, and wonderful to look at. And so then after we got that done, we went to Wendy's, and, uh, oh, I'm skipping around a lot. I missed out on the big adventure, y'all. Uh, the big adventure today was we went and tried out Grandpa's car. I drove it to Charleston, Illinois, and back. It's amazing for its age. It really is. It rides so smooth that you would not believe. And um, it's got a little air conditioning problem going on, which he's going to have that looked at tomorrow. So... Hopefully, that works itself out and not too expensive for him. And other than that, he's very happy with it. So that's the main thing because it's his car. I want him to be comfortable in it. I want him to be comfortable driving it. 
that's the main thing. I did drive it today. It's it's not that bad for an older car, you know. You just have to remember where the shifting is and all that kind of stuff. But other than that, it's really not that bad. And we went to Goodwill. And then after we were out there by the wishing well, I was putting things away. Two of my most prized possessions broke. And we all know that the wishing well, it's on its last season. I hate to say it, but it's it needs major work. And Santa, if you can hear me, what I really want is a new wishing well. Just saying. Um, but anyway, um, I found this Mickey Mouse that's usual $10 tonight for $7.50. Pretty good size. I have the small versions already, but I never had the big size. So I decided I was going to go ahead and purchase that. And then for some unknown reason... I have now little miniatures out there as well that goes around the well, as y'all are familiar with. And I have what I call the Riverside, which is we have an alligator, flamingos, and just like it's like a little pond. Well, I wish it was a pond, but it ain't a pond. But the stones are painted blue, so it kind of makes you think they're in the pond area. So that's the Riverside area. Then we have what I call the Countryside area, where I have chickens and I have... Um, cow and lamb and it's kind of definitely country and then we have the woods on this side which has got chipmunk squirrel and porcupines and then over to the other side is what my I started last year and it's slowly becoming more Disney oriented it's got one of the seven dwarves and it's got the miniature Mickey Minnie Pluto and it's got um more just there's like many many Mickey and many and then a bigger Mickey and many and now I have the biggest Mickey I just need the biggest mini I'm on the hunt for the biggest mini mouse <laughs> but uh, and by the way here's something that I will never understand I got it at Dollar General and usually all our Dollar Generals around here close at nine o'clock right well I went to that Dollar General out on Lakeland, went to the one on DeWitt, and then when I was at the one on DeWitt, she goes, oh, hon, you're going to miss going to the one by the mall. And I said, why is that? She goes, their new hours are till 8 p.m. I'm thinking to myself, she's got to be lying. So I drive back into town to go out to the, the Dollar General, which is located by Planet Fitness, and they do close at 8 p.m. So for anybody out there needing to know, it's 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. all the way for them which I'm hoping and praying to catch them sometime this week if I can't get somebody else to locate me a Minnie Mouse, which, again, Minnie Mouse this big, okay? And she'd probably cost you $7.50. I'll pay you back the $7.50. Just, I'm, I really want that Minnie Mouse. So I will have a pair. Anyway, because um, you can't have a Mickey without a Minnie. It's just not right. <laughs> Uh, she's probably shopping. There we go. There's a good joke. Anyway, um, stay tuned. I'm going to do another video, singing video, before I go work out.